What it is, y'all. It is your old boy, Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Daimachi. And we're talking very specifically about the first of the month and what you should be doing in the game today. Um, you know, basically just to get the month rolling. Now, there's a lot going on currently, but we're going to do the usual to kick this off. And that is to go into our inventory. And we're going to sell all of our unwanted bonds. Now, obviously you don't want to sell four stars unless you absolutely are completely full. Like, there, I don't think I have any right now that I'm completely full on. I think I've just, just got enough right at the moment. But, every other unit, all my three and four stars, I don't have any that I'm, or three, two and three stars. I don't have any that I, that I really need to MLB at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all all of mine now you could sell surplus that sells everything that is basically not um anything that you you would you wouldn't need to mlb one of those units but at the moment i'm not really looking to mlb those so i'm going to go out here and i'm going to go to sell all i'm going to sell every single bond for two stars and three stars okay that gives me all that serious up there and it's really honestly not all that much right now but that's because it's a really good time to do this, especially with us doing like all kinds of summons at the moment. So anytime you do a summon, you're gonna get tons of these bonds. Now, every video is somebody's first video, so let me show you how I did that one more time. If we go to this little gear icon at the top, go to inventory right over there, boom, and click this little bond button, boom. Okay, it's going to bring up every bond for every unit that you have. Now, you can't sell any actual units. Once you have a unit, it's there. But all the extra bonds are right here. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is absolutely not worth to sell four-star bonds unless it's a free-to-play that you don't need. And I'm going to emphasize don't need. Don't start selling Goblin Slayer bonds. Don't start selling bonds for, for Fencer because they do not come back around most likely we've only had one rerun only had one rerun ever in the history of this game so don't start selling those bonds keep those bonds on you okay so once you sold bonds what do you do with them well if we go in here to the shop we go to the cereals and dupe exchange right here now the beginning of every month it's going to unlock Three star tickets, two star tickets, and all of these CP items. Now, for me, yes, the three star tickets and two star tickets are 100% worth, and those should be the first things that you do. Now, I'm not done doing summons, and I'm going to do a lot more summons as the month goes on. So, I'm honestly going to chill on these for a minute. First thing I'm going to do is going to I am going to go after souvenirs. Okay. And honestly, I'm not going to get that many right now because, like I said, I just finished out last month's, literally, like, before I did this video, right as the time was ticking down for the end of the month. So I don't have a lot of serious to dupe right now. Now, as I go to go do some more summons here in a little bit, we're going to get more and more and more of that. The reason that I say the first ones you probably want to do are the two stars and three stars are solely because... Each one of those has a possibility to turn into a four star. That's right. You can get four stars out of two star tickets. You can get four stars out of three star tickets. You can't get any of the collab units or any of the time limited units, but you can get a general pool unit. That's going to be very, very good for you. Other than that, the dungeon cake, the dungeon sandwiches, book of nobility, all the way down to the souvenirs. All of these items basically add to your unit's CP levels. Now, again, I'll explain what this is because I know a lot of people are going to be like, uh, CP levels? Okay, if we go over here to the character sheet, the, the very first tab down here at the bottom, boom, and you go to character list right here, okay? People get on to me all the time. I know my CP is really low, but that's because I've been working on building up some of my lower units and investing in some units and blah, 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 blah. So, what this does, this is a board that lets you add basically upgrades to every single unit in the game. Case in point, if we go down here, we go find Goblin Slayer himself. There he is. There's Goblin Slayer. Okay. 
So if you guys are pulling on the Goblin Slayer collab, your old boy right here is the main one, main unit in there, Goblin Slayer. I, in my heart of hearts, firmly believe we're going to get a second Goblin Slayer unit. I really do. Uh, because the first one we have is predominantly a support unit. Now, I do have a video coming out. I underrated the hell out of this dude. He is super good. I've also been told I may have overrated her, but I really don't think so. But So we're going to do videos on these two units because I've been challenged. And I always like a good challenge. Oops. Nick my HDMI cable. But I'm going to grab Goblin Slayer here. I'm going to go to Offer Present, and I'm going to go down to the Souvenirs. Now, Souvenirs work for collab units. Um, that's pretty much all they're there for. And I'll give you a hint right now. There is a way to get a ton, a blooming ton of Souvenirs, and don't miss out on this opportunity. You want to farm the current events to get all these Souvenirs. Because not only does Goblin Slayer use them, Every collab unit uses them. So, like, if you have the Data Live units, if you have the Attack on Titan units, even if you have the Kino units, they all use souvenirs. Okay? I'm going to give Goblin Slayer enough to get him up to 5,000. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. And I'm basically going to do that across the board. There we go. 25 of these souvenirs. Boom. Level 15. Okay? What does CP level 15 give me? Well, gives me... 10 Agility, 5 Iris, 8 Dex, 5 more Iris, 50 HP, 5 more Iris, 10 MP, 5 more Iris, 12 Strength, 5 more Iris, Magic 12, 5 more Iris, Endurance 3, and a Hero Falna. Now, that is just the one board. If I go back out here, that is the board for Bell. If you've done your story events in the quest here, if you've unlocked the eyes and the uh, Leafia events, there's that little thing that looks like a uh, like a reset reset button in the center. If I click that, where it says next update right there, dead center. If I click that, that's going to change over to eyes. Now, if I go back in here into the character list, <laughs> notice Goblin Slayer's back down to level one. I grab him here, offer present, go down to the souvenirs, boom, 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 and I am going to go over this in grave detail because, once again, every video is somebody's first video, so if you already know all this stuff, hit that thumbs up button, we'll move along towards the end of the video because there's some more hype at the end of the video, but let's see here, what do we get this time? A little bit, little bit of something different. Agility 10, Iris 5, Dex 5, more Iris 5, HP 15, MP 10. So, actually, it looks about like it's about the same stuff. So, I get a ton of Iris. I get, I've get i upgraded my Goblin Slayer pretty extensively. And, in fact, I can even go in here into Leafia. Boom. Go into the character list. Go all the way down to the bottom. And, Goblin Slayer still level 1 there. Offer present. Boom. Take them all the way up to 25. I think that's where we were. Yeah. There's, those just to be happy happy numbers that I know work. Okay. 25, 5,000 is level 15. To be fair, to be honest here, the more, the higher you go, the less effective your souvenirs are on upgrading your CP. But confirm. Now Goblin Slayer is CP level 15 on all three of my units. And that means all of those stats affect every single unit. If you're following along here, every time you unlock a unit, get them up to level 60, you get 10 Iris. I got a ton of Iris out of here. If you actually get them up to level 30, manage to get them up to level 30, each unit you unlock up to level 30, you almost get an entire multi-summon. 400 iris worth pretty close to at least out of that unit this is absolutely awesome do not miss out on this now and that's everybody like legit you should be upgrading every single unit in here so priestess high elf cowgirl fencer all of them are upgradable okay all of them are upgradable 
So basically that means, let's say if I go in here and I go to the album and I go all the way down here to Goblin Slayer, my Goblin Slayer only has one dupe. So I'm going to do that. Okay. That's one dupe in him. And I've got, I think, plus three hero ascension on him. Okay. So these are his stats right here. Now you'll notice that there's pluses over here and over there. So remember, HP, 1931, strength, well, physical attack, 963. 1931 and 963. Remember those stats. Okay. This is what we see here. If I actually go into my status board, and I go down to my Goblin Slayer, wherever the hell he's at. I could have gotten to him from there, but whatever. All right, where is Goblin Slayer? Where is old boy? Where is my man? I passed him. He is... You know what? We'll make this easier. We'll just sort by adventures and four stars. And that will drive down the list. We can even do it by dark units. There we go. Goblin Slayer. Plus one. All ascended. Okay. I don't have enough fauna to completely do them out there. But you can already see the physical attack and the HP are both up without having this board filled out. Okay. So, as I fill this out, of course, it's going to unlock a few more. My strength is already going to be down quite a bit. Uh, but, notice all those stats are way higher. That's because those CP bonuses, all the CP items that you saw me collect, they've boosted this character up. So, he was like 19-something and 900-something. He's now 2,500 and 1,200. CP items are very, very, very important. And the fact that you get so many of them at the beginning of the game means that, I mean, beginning, beginning of every month, means that this is something you need to do at the start of every single month. If I go back in here, and I go to the shop, and the Serious and Dupe Exchange, you'll notice, okay? You get 99, 99 of every single CP item every month, okay? You get 10 of every, 10 of every ticket, the two star and three star ticket, every single month okay make sure you're taking advantage of this now the big thing is is the reason i'm so low right now is because i cleared it all out there at the end of the month i didn't do so many summons the last couple of months so at the end of the month after we did all the summons on stream i had to clear all that stuff out so when we do some more summons on sunday night stream i'll obviously have some more dupe and some more uh serios to go and do some more of that stuff but Worth noting here, if this is the first time you guys have seen a CP video, if I go to Offer Present, every single unit, well, not every single unit, but different types of unit have different types of things they want. Bell wants Book of Knowledge. Uh, there's also the uh, higher end Book of Knowledge, which gives a little bit more CP. In fact, if I go in here and I go to do my CP quest, oops, CP quest is off. Is it? Okay. Never mind. CP quest ended. It's a thing. So, if I go in here, and I go to the character list, Bell is looking for books of knowledge. So, all the ones that are books are going to give you more. Uh, single flower, if I remember who does the single flower, that's <laughs> they're a little harder to come by. So, Leafy is probably going to require books of knowledge as well. All right? Lily takes the flower. Single flower gives her 200 CP. Big bouquet gives her 400 if I go back to Lethia, there she is. Book of knowledge gives her book of knowledge gives her two hundred. The bigger book gives her four hundred. You want to pay attention to that little heart. That little heart tells you what each character wants. Katori was up there, so Katori is somebody I've been working on hard lately because that new unit of hers is so insane. So if I go to offer present, she'll only take the souvenirs. Now notice souvenirs are only two hundred. There is no big souvenir yet. I would love for them to drop one, but I don't think they're going to. I think if they were going to, they'd drop it in part one. So you've got to farm the crap out of these souvenirs. Well, you only get 99 in this in this weekly event, or monthly event. You only get 99 in the monthly event. So, if you go, sorry, it's extremely late, so I'm trying to get this recorded for you guys to get it out in the morning. So, 
if we go to the current event, uh, the, they are not dropping from the gotcha. But if you go into the exchange, there's 120 of them in this exchange. If you see up there, 120 of these bad boys in this exchange. Notice there's also a bunch of these event unit tickets. If I snag those event unit tickets, let's grab those event unit tickets, see what I can grab out of here. 20 of them should be enough. <laughs> I can actually go in here, go to the event unit exchange, and I can actually grab a four-star bond. Let's grab uh, Shock T for the sake of argument. So now that I've got that four-star bond of Shock T, I tell you never to sell four stars unless it's an expendable unit. You can actually go into the, uh, the event unit exchange, go into inventory, Go to Bond. Now, Blue Lotus Shock T is right here. I can actually sell that Bond. Now, normally, let's say I grab Ganesha here and I sell his. Normally, it's going to give me 50 Serios, 10 dupe, and the dupe will actually get you some other stuff. But I don't want to sell his. I want to sell hers. Free-to-play units are still going to give you the 50 series. They're just not going to give you the dupe. Okay. Sell those bad boys. I've got 50 more serios to play with. Okay. Which realistically isn't a whole lot. But it's a work in progress. So go back to the series dupe exchange. Now, if I had dupe, with 10 dupe, I can actually go get 5 hero lights. Or, sorry, 3 hero lights. I stand corrected. So I could get some hero lights with that 10 dupe. It actually would be nice if I had an extra 4-star every month to do that with. Uh, there are other things you can get up there. Prism bonds, 4-star tickets, etc., etc. But unless you're whaling out the game, you're not going to be doing that. Just real talk. You're not going to be doing that unless you're whaling. Okay? But now I've got 50. I could come in here and get a 3-star ticket. For me, I'm going to go grab some more souvenirs just because that's where I'm at as a player right now. Boom. Now they're worn out. But I'm going to do some more farming and get that. So the goal is to get all those 120 souvenirs out of there. Get as many souvenirs as you can out of here. Get all of the CP items that you can. If you ever see a CP item up for grabs, case of point, books of knowledge, books of nobility are the big books of knowledge I was talking about. Single flowers, big bouquet are the obviously the big single flowers. Uh, dungeon cake and dungeon sandwich, most units, I think the vast majority of units in the game actually use those items. So those are extremely worth. But right now with the collab on, you want to farm more of those CP items. Okay. If I go into the time limited stuff here, and actually I need to talk about those here in a second. Right down here. Earn bronze chest 440. For every one of those bronze chests, those are the rewards that you're getting just for running the events. As you farm the events, you are farming these items. Okay, I just got 10 souvenirs just for farming the events. Look at that. 10 more souvenirs just for farming the events. Uh, the next level is 645. So I'm going to be farming the crap out of these events to get all these uh, souvenirs. You can get a ton of these. A ton of these guys. Do not sleep on this. Farm the hell out of this event. Even if you're already at level 15, it'll pay to get these and upgrade all of your units. So don't do not sleep on this. Okay. The other thing that's really interesting and really unique to the first of this month, or first of the month for, I guess, the next little while. First of the month, we get two four-star uh, tickets. Okay. You have to be ranked 65 and rank 70 to get it, which means next month you have to be ranked 75 and rank 80. I think after that, it jumps up to the 10s, if I recollect. I'd have to double-check that, but go ahead and double-check everything in you guys' box. Make sure you check the news. Make sure you're at the right levels to get all of these bonds. Because if you're not, and I'm going to run out shortly, I really need to start farming rank, like, fast. If you're rank 65, you're rank 70 at the beginning of the month, you're going to get these two four-star tickets. Let's go ahead and accept all of ours. There's one thing I didn't talk about, too, as you increase CP. You're also going to get some uh, Iris out of here. I mean, it really does pay to do these CP items. Not only do your units get stronger, you get tons and tons and tons of virus for this. 
tons of virus. I started this video with 1,400 items. I'm, I'm up to almost 1,700. It pays, guys. It totally pays. 1,700 items. Where we end? 1750, 1760, 1780. Are we going to get to 1800 iris? We're at 1800 iris. In one video, 400 iris, guys. Or nearly that. I could go do a multi. I could just go do a multi right now if I wanted to. But what we're going to do is we're going to burn those four star tickets. If you guys are at the proper rank to do this, go ahead and grab your tickets or whatever you want to do. Burn them with me real quick, and let me know what you guys got in the uh, comment section down below. Let's see what I got out of this bad boy. Here we go. Now, you cannot get any of the collab units. Okay. I got that for you, and I got... Oh, okay. Lovely Traveler Lily. All right. That for you is new to me. Let's go take a look at her. Uh, I'd have to see what she does, but a new unit is never, never unwelcomed. So if you pull one out of there that's actually uh, not, like, case in point, this Lily. Let's go to status board. That's my first bond to her. Let's say it's my sixth bond of her and I don't need her. I could sell that and get that 10 dupe. So take advantage, guys. Farm your CP. Do your first of the month CP. Sell those bonds, okay? I do this at the beginning of every single month. Just to refresh. Gear icon. Inventory. Bond. Sell all your two and three star bonds that you don't need. Okay? Shop. Serios and dupe exchange. Right in here, you can buy all those CP items. And then to upgrade CP, character list. A character list. Character and character list. And just start upgrading, guys. Go ham. This is a great way to upgrade everything and a great way to get a lot of free-to-play Iris and a great way to basically upgrade and make your units stronger than ever before. That's the video, guys. It's been a longer one than we've ever done in the first of a month, but it's been a lot of information at the start of this month. And I know we've got a lot of new players in the game. So let me know if this helped you guys out by dropping a like. That's the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.